is in an incredibly um, powerful position. Um, and what I believe is about to happen is a surprise gold rush. So I believe the world is about to experience something very, very unique, special, once in a lifetime experience. But we're about to experience probably one of the most powerful bull markets in gold ever. And specifically that even of silver, uh, as I believe silver will outperform gold. The main thing I'm putting more energies into right now is that of uh, the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's been very exciting um, since the beginning of the year. I started looking at the pattern analysis of, uh, of Bitcoin in January and uh, put out a video and stated that uh, we were expecting a, uh, a crash, short-lived, of Bitcoin in, in March, and it happened. Then we uh, looked at the patterns further and we're expecting another crash in September and stated that we're looking for a $2,000 point crash and we got it. And then most recently we're looking for a crash in the month of November on Bitcoin and we got that too. So it's been actually really exciting to be able to foretell the patterns that Bitcoin's been playing. So very high statistics um, on our patterns for, for Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin is can be a you know wonderful thing to hold, but uh, we do see some problems in its uh, in its pattern uh, early part of next year. When I get emotional about something in the markets or something happening, it's really funny. But I just pull out my charts and I find the answer. And then it's like today, gold went down. Clients are emailing me and, and like it's all good. Look at the pattern. I know where we are. Gold has a little slight pause here. The downside is going to reverse. But, you know, so I take emotion out of it by looking at charts and patterns. And um, so it's, it's a way that I found that works incredibly well for me. And um, cons considering, you know, I feel pretty confident about what I do. I don't play, I don't let emotion tie into much of what I do. Um, whenever I do, sometimes I'm involved in putting some trades on. And um, I've learned to use options. So, you know, if I put a trade on and I, it doesn't work out for me, I don't care. Not big deal. I, I know it's only it's the gamble that I'm willing to lose, anyways. On the other on the other end of it, uh, you know, if, if I win, it's, it's fantastic as well too. But I try not to make anything that I do emotional. It's really unimportant to, to make it emotional. There's, I've got enough, you know, between kids and family and life. That's where all the emotion lies, and it has nothing to do with what I do in the markets. So there's a little voice inside of you that gives always gives you the right direction of which which way you're supposed to go, and what you're supposed to do. So listen to yourself. Just listen deep down and you will uh, always find the answer.